Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Kavita Bhart, Assistant Professor, Department of Philosophy, HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar Garhwal, Uttarakhand, Bharat. Uh, my topic uh, is Chitta Prasadan, Management of Conflicts in the Light of Vedic Darshan for this session. Human behavior as a reflection of motive and intention is guided by manas. Being a main component of chit or antahkaran, manas has infinite powers and it is a regulating faculty for panch gyanindriyas, five sensory organs, and panch karmindriyas, five organs of our actions. Manas is called ubhayindriya, master of both kinds of indriyas. Thus, we can say that manas is responsible for all voluntary actions of human beings. Manas has been referred to as an integral part of Vaishwanara. The word Vaishwanara is a combination of two padas that are, these are Vishwa and Naraha. Uh, the cosmic or universal human being. Manas is a manifest of Agni, which is Prajapati in Rig Veda. There are four stages of Vaishwanara or cosmic consciousness in human beings. That is Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti, and Turiya. We can say that being the master of all senses, Manas has sole responsibility for the attitude, behavior, and karmas, actions of human beings. Wisdom, pleasure, pain, desire, thought process, aversion, feelings, etc. are mere reflections of Manas having competency of referring to the phases of time, past, present, and future. All conflicts are mere expressions of disharmony of stages of manas. Yoga darshan, being an extension of our uh, Vedic view, presents the idea for the management of behavior through chitta prasadan. This paper is an attempt to establish uh, as a magnificent method to purify the manas by enhancing four mental virtues. These are maitri, friendship for sukhi, happy people. Karuna, compassion for dukhi, sufferers. Mudita, joyfulness for punya, virtuous. And Upeksha, ignoring attitude for apunya, wise persons. It will pave a path to resolve all the conflicts through loving relationships in the light of Vedic darshan. A person gets ability to be blissful by his, her, atmic chaitanya, self-consciousness through chitta prasadan. Being unit of society, each and every person can set an example of grooming through self-implementation of this practice. It is possible to find solution of world level conflicts through such long-term impacting mean. Mandukya Upanishad presents the concept of Vaishwanara. The Rishi assumes the entire universe and individual one is Om or Brahma. The word Brahm has its roots in Brihadhatu of Sanskrit and Brihad means to hold continuously Vaishwanara in the first part or aspect of Atma. The first, uh, the, the four Padas or aspects of Brahma or Atma uh, are the first is Vaishwanara as Jagrit. This is the Atma in walking state of bodily awareness. The second state stage is uh, Swapna or it's called Tajas. It, in this state, the Atma experiences the dreaming, which is also called Antaha Pragya. The third path is Sushupti. The Atma has no desire in this state, and it is also called Pragya. This is deep sleep. There is no awakening and dreaming. The fourth path, path is Turi, a state of the ultimate or Nirvi Samadhi to know Paramatma. This is the neither. Uh, the walking state, not dreaming. This is not even the state of sleep. This is beyond all these states. Now, we should know the nature of manas. Manas is an important component of chit, which acts like the consciousness representative of atma or brahma. It is obhendri, uh, as we said before. It is also not worthy that the nature and behavior of human being is a reflection of experiences and sensitivity of manas. Man, buddhi, and ahankaras are the components of chitta. Chitta prasadan is a practice to mold the behavior of human being positively through the training of manas. Maharshi Patanjali assumes that one should start the practice of yoga from yama, ahinsa, satya, asteya, brahmacharya, and aparigraha. 
These are five moral canons for the well-being of society and entire world. Ahinsa is the starting point from where we can start to pave the path of love, compassion, and benevolence for the healthy society. Psychologically, this is a great method of conflict management through the molding of behavior by balancing the ahankaras or trigunas through the guidance of manas in a harmonious way. Ahinsa is the continuous practice of non-violence, which includes physical, mental, and emotional non-violence towards others and the self. We create violence most often in our re uh, re reactions to event and, and others habitually creating judgment, criticism, anger, or irritation. Compassion is the ability to accept events as they are with an open and loving heart. It is letting go of reacting to the situation conditionally and negatively and replacing those thoughts or feelings with kindness, acceptance, and love. Maitri, Karuna, Mudita, and Upeksha are the four practices in Chitta Prasadhan. It means that whatever bad thought, for example, selfish motive, uh, may come, one should practice the opposite mood through self-sacrifice. So, uh, that the bad thought may not find any scope. Patanjali Yoga Sutra presents a psycho-philosophical way of Chitta Prasadhan. Maitri, feeling of friendship, Sukhi, pleasant people, and Daya, pity for Dukhi, sufferers, and Mudita, happiness for Punyatma. Upeksha, avoidance for Apunyatma, sinful people, for the removal of bad thought processes and living with a healthy manner called Chitta Prasadhan. It is essential to Pratipaksh Bhav. It will definitely lead towards the goal of friendship, compassion, happiness, and peace. It is also a great means to channelize our energy on the positivity and creativity in place of negativity. Patanjali explained the way according to Vedic insight based upon social psychology. And we work on the inspiration of external environment which influenced by the people around us and our own insight. Chitta Prasadhan model works with both theories of society. Firstly, if same some people have good conduct around us, we imitate them. And secondly, we make a clear vision by the introspection through the enhancement of insight. Thus, we find that the mass behavior could be regulated by this model successfully. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very much thankful to organizer to providing me an opportunity for the presentation in webs. Thank you all.